Well, how are you doing? <clears throat> okay, this is going to be called, uh, this video is about uniform linear disappearance in the z-axis. This, this is an argument I was making in 2015 when I first got into this subject. And I didn't make any videos until 2017. I was just a commenter on YouTube videos. That's what I was for those two years. But this is an argument I used to make. And over the course of time, obviously, the most simple arguments are the most powerful. Um, but due to the, it, the subject being so complex and the mo globe model being so complex that there was a lot of things that flat earthers had to learn. So unfortunately, the most simple arguments, which are the most powerful, kind of got left uh, by the wayside. Like Things like the argument about the horizon with the black swan, uh, as just a basic argument, that was around in 2015. And gas pressure without a container was around in 2015. So there was a lot of things around in 2015 that were very basic arguments that that kind of got left behind and they've been rediscovered, let's just say, in the past couple of years. Uh, but this argument here, I use myself, <clears throat> and I use the others too, but this one here, and it was a very, very simple argument, but it's so simple, I think, uh, it's not. I, I had I had faith in it, but as I said, I wasn't making videos at the time. But it's one of these things that was so simple that for a long time, I don't think people would have had faith in using it. But it's 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 like, as I said, the most simple arguments are the most powerful, and sometimes they're so simple that people people kind of can't accept that they're that good, you know, basically. <clears throat> so that's why I'm going back over this again. Or that's why I'm bringing it up now. So not over again. But why I'm bringing it up? Why I'm bringing this topic up now? So this is called uniform linear <clears throat> disappearance, right? Uniform linear disappearance in the z-axis is not possible over a consistently curving surface, as under those conditions, a boat uh, sailing away from you in a straight line must dip its bow downwards and its stern upwards if it is to be going over a curve. But that is not what we experience in reality. As in reality, we experience boats and other objects disappearing in a uniform linear fashion in the z-axis. Something that requires a flat plane to actualize. Okay, <clears throat> I'm just going to show this first, right? So <clears throat> this is uh, from the Davis uh, Sextant Manual. Sextant Manual. This is a, a diagram from that. Now, in this, right, they show this line here, which is your height of eye, right? Uh, sometimes called a sensible or astronomical horizon, right? And then you have the surface here underneath the person. And the correction you're making, let's just say, right, uh, they, 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 with a sextant when you're on the sea, the correction you're going to make bef before you can work with a final angle is, first of all, you'll do your dip, right? But they do a mathematical dip to a mathematical horizon. There is no geometric horizon, right? It's called a geometric horizon by the, our opposition, but it's not geometric. It is mathematical because geo would be earth and metric would be measurement. There is no Earth measurement of this horizon, there is it doesn't exist, um, uh, as admitted so by celestial navigation, because what happens is they will bring their uh, <clears throat> their dip down right from the eye line down to this, mathematically bring it down beyond the visible or the visible uh, water with maths they'll bring it down to there, but then they'll do height of eye correction bringing this line back down to here. And uh, like a seesaw, it brings the other line back up, right? K giving you your 90 degrees, right? But they have known, celestial navigation have known for a long time that this here doesn't exist. It's purely mathematical. You can't see it. You could never see it. You never will see it, right? So not only have celestial navigation known that this this, this dip here to this place here doesn't, to a place that doesn't ex that this place doesn't exist. It's a mathematical horizon, not geometric, mathematical. But people like McWest have also known, because this is from his Metabon curve calculator. And as you can see, you have surface level here with red. Now, I put, these are normally a serrated line, like these lines here. Black serrated line. And the eye line here, which would be your astronomical or sensible, as they call it, sensible horizon. No, it's not a horizon, but that's what they call it, is making a parallel with that. Now, this is kind of very faint, Right, these two are very faint, so I had to put in the red and blue lines just to just to just to emphasize them, right? And then 
obviously they're made faint on purpose because they want the main focus to be this geometric area down here. But it, they're what they call a geometric horizon. But this is once again just a mathematical horizon. It's not geometric. So there's no earth measurement, right? It doesn't exist outside of the maths. As as our opposition have, have admitted, the geometric horizon, that's not geometric, only exists in the maths. You will never see it. No one has ever seen it. No one will ever see it. It doesn't exist. So nothing can sail over this, right? You can't sail over something that doesn't exist, right? You'll only ever be dealing with a horizontal plane, right? And you'll only ever be dealing with an eye line, right? What they call an astronomical horizon, which is just making a parallel with that, with the horizontal plane. That's all that'll be ever happening, right? So horizontal plane, that's what we live on. That's what we deal with. So moving on, right? Move this down and this down. So now I want to show you this, right? <clears throat> this is a video made by one of our opposition some years ago. I think it's 2017 or 18. But <clears throat> this is typical, right? It's going to see a ship, right? Now it's going to move away. It's going to be a short video. As that ship sails away, there's going to be inferior mirage and different things down here. But don't worry about all that. That's not the argument here. <clears throat> right? The point is, is that as it's sailing away, now he, he does a bit of moving around or maybe a bit of trickery, trickery with this he does but it doesn't matter what you'll notice is one second now right as it sails away right <clears throat> the stern is going down as much as the bow right that can't happen the bow has to be going down and the stern has to be the last thing you see but we're not seeing that we're seeing a uniform linear disappearance in the z axis the z being zenith up and down Right, so this is a linear disappearance. Now, it's with the, in this video, the disappearance is mostly due to the uh, the, this, the distance and inferior mirage. That's all that's causing it, right? But that's besides the point, right? So he, he brings in some he does a lot of messing around and uh, editing and different switching around. But I'm just going to show you here. Look, he has this grey box here that covers the side of the boat. Why did he cover the side of the boat? Because <laughs> he was hiding the inferior mirage. Just wanted to point that out. It doesn't really matter. But just wanted to point it out. But the, more importantly is, if you can see here, the bill, right, is at the same height as, this, as the stern. If it's going over a curve and it's already supposedly missing the bottom of it, then the bill has to, it has to be at an angle. The bill has to be lower than the stern. But the bill is never lower than the stern. It's like on just normal water conditions, the bow and stern will be in a horizontal to each other. They'll be level, right, right, horizontal to each other. That's what it'll be. So uh, as it supposedly sails over a curve, right, it doesn't. It just does a uniform uh, linear disappearance in the z-axis. Look, that's all that's happening. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so... <clears throat> All that's happening here is a linear disappearance, right? That you, right? They've already admitted there is no there, there is no geometric horizon, right? There is only a mathematical plane, and that's it. So what do we have? We have linear, right? We don't have we have a, a visual horizon, right? That moves with the weather and with elevation, and we have things disappearing in a linear fashion from the bottom up. In the z-axis that requires a flat plane you can't do it any other way i'm just going to show another video here this person is a flat earther <coughs> sorry my throat is dry <clears throat> and <clears throat> this person shows the same thing right and they were giving an exp they're explaining why it happens but <clears throat> not they're not talking about this point but they're talking about the inferior mirage and different things so it's a good video i'll link it below it's an older video, but it's good. But as you can see, as it, the boat sails away, both the bow and the stern are equal in their horizontal to each other. Right? Actually, in this one, the, the bow is above the stern, right? <clears throat> with the way the boat is made. But as you can see, it's not going over something. It's from the bottom up, there seems to be like blockage or whatever. But it's a linear uh, relationship. It's not at an angle it's just a linear relationship so i'm just going to move, move it on a little bit and 
as you can see, the folder goes away. Now, I know he's the man that made this is pointing out, uh, uh, the person made this, I'm not sure if it's a man or a woman, uh, they're pointing out like <clears throat> how it's inferior mirage and how uh, just measurements of the top and the bottom, blah, blah, blah. I get it. Um, um, not don't mean to be disrespectful to him, but I'm just saying I understand that. But this is showing exactly what I want to show, and that is that <clears throat> it is not disappearing, bell forced, and then stone. It is lin linear, uniform disappearance in the z axis, right? So <clears throat> now that I've made my point with that, now I'm going to show something <clears throat> here. This is a program I got, right? And it's called Ship Sailing Over the Horizon. This is just one of the demonstrations they do. They do all this Wolfram player. They do all different uh, demonstrations. But this is going to show, this is supposed to supposed to be showing a ship going, a demonstration, like say a visual demonstration, of a ship going over right, the curve of the Earth, right? Obviously, they, no, they didn't get the memo that the geometric horizon doesn't exist. But either way, <clears throat> right, as I move it towards the horizon, it'll, it'll, uh, it will um, magnify in a moment. So as I move it to the horizon, it's just on the horizon now, this little ship, and it'll magnify now in a moment. Now. So as you can see, even within their own diagram here, right, and th these people are obviously globe-believing people that made this. Watch the back of that, right, the boat. It just seems to be pushed down. That's exactly what we see in reality. I like this because there's no inferior mirage and all this other stuff. So it's easy. It's, it's an easy demonstration to show. So the more it, go, it supposedly goes away, the more it just goes down. right? And what's interesting about this diagram is there's no angular size change. right? You just see something just going straight down. Is gravity pushing it straight down? No. Right? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's nonsense. But this, they're not understanding that this can't happen. Right on a curved surface, it can't happen. This is not reality on a curved surface. This can only happen, right? This li uniform linear disappearance in the z-axis can only happen across a flat plane, right? Regardless of what the cause of it is, it can only happen across a flat plane. It's an antecedent relationship. It can't happen any other way. So <clears throat> here, here I have diagram I made myself. Let me get a, a line here. I'm just going to bring this out like this. And bring this out here like this. I might change the color to maybe yellow or red or something. Right, maybe red. Right. <clears throat> so here we have this black arrow. This is the Z axis. Here we have right. This is a supposed to be the water, and this is supposed to be a ship. Let's say a container ship, whatever. Right. So what happens is that right. If that's supposed, to, if that's moving away from you. Uh, let's say it's coming across your view, you're looking out to see, and it's coming across your view, and it's moving across your view, but also moving away from you at, let's say, a 30 degree angle. What you will see happening is this, right? The water line will start to rise like this, and it'll continue to rise, continue to rise over distance. Now, the reasons are, there's many reasons for what happening. It's the fraction limit. Inferior mirage, you know, sea effects, you know, like I mean, swells, different things like that. But the point is, is that as it moves away from you, it'll disappear in a linear fashion from the bottom, right? And it'll keep doing that until it's like, until it's gone, more or less. Or it, when I say it'll keep doing it until it's gone, it won't be that it's gone. It's just its angular size will get so small you won't be able to decipher it. And especially looking through such dense uh, air, um, uh, out across water. And of course, you have uh, water vapor um, constantly rising off of the water and different things like that. So <clears throat> there's loads of reasons for, for you not to be able to see it right. But one thing is for certain, this linear fashion here, this linear disappearance in the z-axis, that cannot happen right? Uh, on, 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 if, the, if the boat was, go was going over a geometric horizon that doesn't exist, it can't happen. <clears throat> What would happen if this was a boat, right, going over a geometric globe horizon, right, right over Earth curve? If you were looking at it in the direction of this blue arrow, let's just say, so you're watching it sail directly away from you, right? What you would see, right, is the bow, well, you won't see it, but what would happen is the bow would start to go down, right, like this, right? 
and the stone is the last thing you'd see, right? And if it, this was turned at a 30 degree angle, then if it this then turned at a 30 degree angle to you, right, let's just say, you would see like a lot more of the stone than you will of the bell if the stone is more pointed towards you. You're going to see more of the stone than the bell. But from if it's looking at directly from the back of it, then the bell is going to be going down. And the last thing you're going to see is the stone. And you're going to see this, right? You're going to see, let's say, maybe about that much of when you see the last thing you're going to see is the back of the stone and maybe that much of the top, right? The mast, the mast or whatever. That's the last thing you're going to see because you're going to be seeing it from this angle, right? I'm just going to get a, an arrow. <clears throat> you're going to be looking at it when it's going down. You're going to be seeing it from this angle. That's what you're going to be seeing if it's going over a curve. When you look at a car, right? If you see a car driving over the crest of a hill in San Francisco, somewhere with lots of hills, you watch a car going over the crest of a hill in front of you, right? Because I drove in San Francisco, and what you see is the, the front of the car, the bonnet, that goes off ahead, that goes down, and the last thing you see is the back of the car and the tire, back of the tires, and you might see a bit of the roof of the car just above the just above the, the boot uh, door, maybe. Depends on the type of car. And that's going to be all you're going to see. That's the last thing you see. You won't see the car disappearing from the from the, to, from the tire from the from the road level up in a linear fashion. That doesn't happen. And that wouldn't so for a boat to be sailing over something, right? Like that, sailing over uh, an earth curve. Right, then you're going to end up looking if you're looking from the direction of this blue arrow, then your oil line is going to be eventually like this red arrow. Where you're looking at just the all you'll see it the very last thing you'll see of that boat will be the, the back, the stern here, and you're going to have an angled view to, to the masts or whatever at the top. That's all you're going to have. So, we can, the fact that that doesn't happen, the fact that this right, the fact that this happens right where there's a linear disappearance in the z-axis in a uniform fashion means the earth right, right has to be a horizontal plane you know it's an antecedent relationship it can't happen any other way and just for as <coughs> a little caveat in there <coughs> just to throw it in there um for inferior inferior mirage to happen right it requires two things. It, inquire, it requires a horizontal plane, right? So it requires a physical surface of solid earth or water, and it requires the density of air that we have at the surface of earth. You don't see inferior mirages, right? You don't see them at the bottom of airplanes. You don't see them up high in the mountains. You only see them across water and across land, Right. And your reason you're seeing them is because <clears throat> of the density of the air and because there's a surface there. So it doesn't matter what the thing looks like. If you're seeing it at a distance, I don't care how much of it looks like it's after disappearing. If it, there is inferior mirage, that means there is a solid surface there or a physical surface. It doesn't have to be solid. It can be water. But it has to be, a, excuse me, a physical surface. Something else, right, inferior mirage is impossible on on a glo on the global model it requires a horizontal plane so there's two things that require a horizontal plane inferior mirage inferior mirage requires a horizontal plane and the the uniform disappearance right in a linear fashion right in the z-axis of objects that also requires a horizontal plane so <clears throat> there's no way out of that right on a globe to, to, you know, on a globe earth, if the, if there was a geometric horizon, then the bell has to go before the stone. That has to happen. That, that's not what we see, is it? Oh, well, goodbye, globe. Thanks.